Yes, you are watching A News with me, Nadia Nadira. We will bring you the most updated news from all around Malaysia and for today's hot topic is Malaysia in Dilemma. As we all know, Malaysia features and strategic location have made it a popular destination for migrants from Southeast Asia, South Asia, the Middle East and Africa. And by 2020, Malaysia hosted about 1.4 to 2 million documented migrants between 2018 and 2020, with unofficial estimates of 1.2 to 3.5 million more migrants, as reported by the World Bank, making Malaysia the top migrants receiving country in Southeast Asia. Migrants laborers come from Indonesia, Bangladesh, Nepal, Myanmar, and in a smaller numbers like India, Cambodia. They work in industry such as manufacturing, plantation, agriculture, services like hospitality and security, and domestic work. To further content, I will connect you with Markley, I know Markley, to see what are the factors of immigration in Malaysia. Thank you, Nadine Nadira. There are a lot of factors. Malaysia being such a popular country for migrants from various countries to come and find the source of living here. With such a strategic location, with its location along the Straits of Malacca, a major sea route connecting the Far East to Asia, Europe and the Middle East, and also being in a central location in Southeast Asia, Malaysia is easily accessible by land and sea since before independence, not only for people who look for a job, but also merchants and tourists from all around the world. Moreover, Malaysia has advanced to the point of being classified as a newly industrial country because of its rapid industrial development. Millions of jobs are created in Malaysia that domestic employees are refused to fill, but immigrant labor will cross borders to fill them. Lastly, Malaysia's political stable and sound government also one of the factors that attract immigrants to work in Malaysia. For migrants, political and economic stability has been a big draw. Although the majority of migrants come to Malaysia for economic reasons, a considerable number of irregular and vulnerable migrants do so to escape violence, persecution and abuse in their home countries. Malaysia is considered as one of the most stable countries in the region when compared to its neighbors. As a result, others have referred to our country as a good source of living. Thank you, Aina, for your input. And now, move on to our next reporter, Asha Inziani, in discussing about the role of migrants in Malaysia economy. I will continue our news with the immigrant role in our economy. Malaysia has the fourth largest number of migrants and the seventh highest ratio of migrants to total population in East Asia Pacific, with around 3.48 million immigrants registered in 2020. Immigrants help grow the economy by filling labor needs. Immigration fuels the economy. When immigrants enter the labor force, they increase the productive capacity of the economy and raise GDP. Their income rise, but so do those of native. It is a phenomenon dubbed the immigration surplus, and while a small share of additional GDP accrues to native, when more people work, productivity increases, and as an increasing number of Malaysians retire in coming years, immigrants will help fill labor demand and maintain the social safety net. Immigrants grease the wheels of the labor market by flowing into industries and areas where there is a relative need for workers, where bottlenecks or shortages might otherwise stem growth. Next up from our reporters, however, it reforms by our next reporter, Masayu Izati, that actually the number of migration in Malaysia have its own disadvantages to the economy and well-being of Malaysia. We will see further about the issue. I see previous reporters found that immigration plays an important role in Malaysia. However, I found that immigrants' entry to Malaysia also brings negative impact to us. One of them is the spread of infectious disease. Emerging Infectious Disease, EID, threaten public health and the immigrants could play a role in importing EIDs and maybe a sentinel of major epidemics. Migration is a global phenomenon that affects populations throughout their lives. Migrants are travelers who, in most cases, do not migrate by choice. Migrants have a higher chance of getting health issues such as influenza, tuberculosis, and malaria. This is caused by poor socioeconomic conditions and a shortage of health facilities in their country. The largest example of infectious disease that took place recently in 2019 is coronavirus, which was first located in Wuhan, China. 
but unexpectedly unfold all over the world due to vulnerabilities such as extreme poverty, overpopulation, and excessive concentration in jobs in which bicycle distancing is difficult. Immigrants are at miles higher risk of COVID-19 infection than the native-born. The threat appears especially accelerated once they return to their home country to visit pals and relatives. While the vaccines develop, a new COVID-19 variant emerged, causing more and more vaccine doses taken. Not only that, the next negative effect is cheap for the neighbor Hindu manufacturing development. In detail, a cheaper group of low-skilled foreign workers who distort the price of domestic factors and thus discourage industrial output. This makes labor relatively cheap compared to capital and would weaken the incentive for a firm to substitute labor for technology or for value-adding activities greater than the employment of highly skilled labor. While price and incentive for automation and the use of technology help, they alone are not enough to create the necessary push for firms to move up the value chain. As such, Malaysia's transition to a high-income and developed country is risky as long as firms are still improved in a downward race in relation to labor costs and are not willing to pay more. Cheaper employment of foreign workers than local allows employers to keep wages low and unusual. A work project to change the status quo is destroyed the natural wage clearing mechanism which in turn would derive up wage increases. The last negative effect is the dependency in foreign labor resulted in lack of manpower. While Malaysia has clearly benefited from the presence of foreign workers in the past, the role that foreign workers play in the Malaysian economy must keep up with the times. Future foreign worker management policies, if poorly designed and inconsistently applied, will only detract from the progress that has been made and gradually win Malaysia's dependence on foreign workers. According to the MOF, the implementation of the measures during the pandemic suggests the restriction on movement and suspension on many economic activities have reduced workers and resulted in high layoff, especially among foreign workers. The government's initiative to send foreign workers back to their countries of origin and the stricter policy on the entry of the foreigners into Malaysia during the pandemic also contributed to the labor shortage, especially in the agriculture and construction sectors. Immigration is not something new for Malaysia and it is up to us, the people, and the government to allow the migrants to come in our love country. What should Malaysia do? Ask yourself. And that was the news from this evening. Thank you on behalf of my colleague, Aina Madia, Asha Izani, Masayu Izati, and Nur Afifah.